boils and ghouls, good morning. We have a new friend. Look, it's a new friend. It's a very pretty spider web. I'm not sure if you can see that. Yeah, you can. There you go, see? Look at that spider web. Good morning, spider. Good morning, hellions. Bumps always a doozy. Anyway, so I am going to the post office once again to try and pay my uh, my my PO box because I never paid it the other day, and I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose a PO box because then you guys would lose like that that you know the, I don't know I'd lose my PO box. Man, I wish my truck had that kind of shine on it. <laughs> That's a pretty truck. Oh man, I wish I could have a new vehicle. <clears throat> one day, one day I will. One day I will retire the beast. Maybe. There's one reason why I like this truck. There's not a lot of computer stuff on it. Everything's manual. Less computer stuff, less stuff to go wrong. I even have a manual four wheel drive stick. And see this right here? For a lot of people, this is called an anti-theft device because not a lot of people anymore know how to drive a stick shift. Not that anybody would want to steal this, but eh, you know, she's my baby, she's paid for it. All right, no appointments today, so it's time that I, I have to sit down and I have, well, I don't have to sit down, I actually have to stand up and walk around and get my truck serviced. So here we go, putting the truck, the beast, the hell beast up on ramps. It is almost lunchtime. Are you a hot dog? Should I eat you? Nom, nom, nom. No. No, I won't eat the dog. Uh, I should have taken a before and after of this because look at that. Look how beautiful that looks now. All painted up and everything, which I wasn't going to do, but I figured, you know something? I'm a haunter. I've got black paint laying around, so I painted it up. And I'm, I'm just uh, servicing the rear differential, the fluid in it, because you guys remember that I had to change it and it was a wrecking yard part. Basically, this is just kind of like preventative maintenance, flushing it out, kind of, putting some good fluid in it. Which I have to remember to do, because if I just take the cover off, let the fluid out, put the cover back on, but don't put any fluid in, that's bad. Just as a comparison, this is new fluid. <laughs> the old fluid that came out of it, as you can see, is right there. And if we do this, you can see that it's, it's pretty nasty. And that was new fluid when I put it in. And here's my little secret too, look at this. Oh yeah, all you do is push a handle and you get the fluid in the rear differential. No mess, awesomeness. Well, today is definitely turning out to be maintenance the truck day. So I wanna to go to the auto parts store and I wasn't planning on doing the uh, transfer case fluid or the transmission fluid, but I figure if I'm gonna check them, then why not just change the fluid, right? It's been a while probably been a very long while. I think one of the worst things ever is having to work on your own vehicle. Oh my goodness. Um, so I've done some maintenance things. You guys already saw that I did uh, a couple of the fluids or whatever. I've also changed to the hoses back here to make sure all the hoses are good. And um, yeah, we're kind of greasy, but you know something? Grease and oil on your engine isn't necessarily a bad thing. As long as it's not touching rubber or wires. If it's touching like bolts, <laughs> It helps to keep the bolts free so that they don't seize. So if you ever have to take them off, you don't have to worry about breaking the bolt. I know, crazy, huh? Welcome to Hellmouth Automotive Channel. Later in the afternoon, the truck's pretty well taken care of. There's a couple more things that I still need to do to her, but as far as right now, all the all the stuff that I really want to get done. Well, okay, there is one other thing that I really want to get done, but um, I want to say that I think that we are not going to get the thunderstorm this is so weird the weather the last several days has been like sunny and nice over here and then the threat of thunderstorms and rain over here it's the weirdest thing in the world i'm just going to chalk it up to global warming i don't care what anybody says it's true but let's not get into a debate about the environment um i think i'm going to go inside grab a shower which is funny, what are you gonna do with the shower when you grab it? You're gonna hug it? And I guess that Buffy wasn't in the vlog yesterday. Why weren't you in the vlog yesterday? Huh? I, I could have swore that I had you in there. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, it's okay, it'll be okay. I'm sorry, I didn't have you in the vlog. It's very interesting sometimes how we have plans and then something happens and the plans change. That's why I'm not a big believer in like making a lot of plans because I've just realized recently that man, something always happens. So I'm on my way to uh, get my, uh, my hair cut. Finally, maybe, and that's why plans change. I got distracted and I cleaned my shower. <laughs> what better time to clean your shower than when you're taking a shower? Clean it and then take a shower. It's like what you should do. How many other people do that? You clean your bathtub and your shower when you take a bath or a shower? I, I guess it'd be kind of gross to like take a bath and clean the bathtub at the same time. That'd be like stewing and never mind. Ugh. Gross. Anyway, so, ah, uh, wow. Ah, uh, dang it. Ah. Uh. I guess I'm not getting any of my hair cut tonight. I was afraid of that. I could have swore that they were open until nine though. Apparently not. It was Emerald Gypsy Heart the other day that said it was kind of like a fall weather around here. Um, and yeah, I would say that that's what it seems like it's, it's becoming. It's really strange. Oh wait, I already talked about the weather. Sorry. I guess I'll have to wait until tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. To get my hair cut. I, I just, I like to have it cut because I don't like to mess with it in the morning. And it's much cooler the less hair you have. And I'm not down to shave it yet. Not that far. I, I got a little bit more to lose before, uh, <laughs> before I, I shave it all off. Because then you gotta worry about sunburn. I don't know what my scalp looks like under this, so I don't know if it's like a cool scalp or if I have, like, I can't remember if I've been injured before, so I got a scarry scalp. Do you guys want to see a cruel joke? <laughs> Bam! <laughs> I know, it's worse for me than it is for you, but that still hurt. Oh my gosh. Now it's kind of crazy to think that in just another couple months, we're going to be coming back down here for the uh, Puyallup Fair, which is our, uh, our state fair. And also, uh, oh wow, Oktoberfest. Wow, time is really flying, like fast. Oh, let's do this. Oh, cool, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so you guys know that when I wear my sunglasses like this, the clouds up there appear different, kind of like you have a filter. So let's do this. Let's just go through a bunch of different filters right now. We can start now, I probably already started doing it just to see what different kinds of colors and things that we can make in the sky. Happy little clouds and Bob Ross moments and stuff like that. Hopefully there's a cool one in there. I don't know if I'm still doing it or not, but it's pretty. We got all these happy little trees over here <laughs> with the sunshine, warming them up. I think I've gone a little crazy. It's okay. I'll be all right. Oh look! Pretty sunset again, look at that. It's like cotton candy in the sky. Like grape and whatever pink flavor it is. What is pink flavored cotton candy? Wait, what is pink bubble gum? I just got home and she's excited to see me. Yes, uh, at the end of the night, this has been my ritual lately. Comfy pants, sweats, um, a plate. There you go, a plate. Ta-da! Wait, there's more. On the plate are two burritos, flat side up, because you don't want your cheese to melt off of it. So you want the cheese to try and stay on top. And these are El Monterey bean burritos. They are so horrible for you, but they are so good, and they are cheap. Put them in your microwave. Yes, I do use my microwave. I also keep it clean. It's easier to clean your microwave right after you use it than it is after everything is dried and caked on. So, okay, here we go. Uh, one minute, okay? One minute, dos burritos. Get these back in the freezer. No. Cheese is next. Two slices of cheese. One. Two. Put the cheese back. You don't want your cheese to get moldy, which is 
funny because apparently cheese is mold. Uh, so we have been in there for a minute. Now you take your cheese and you cut them in a half like this. Whoops. You put one there and then you take the other one here. Make sure there's no dog hair on it because hair does fly. There's stuff called dander and even though you keep your counters clean, your 1970s star flake counters, sometimes dander still gets up there. So there we go. All right, perfect, perfect. Put them in for one minute and 30 seconds additional. Okay, and by the time these are done, they will be delicious burritos. And then, I'm making guys hungry, and then you take your saved Taco Bell packets, and you can put on one or two, depending upon how much spice you like. So what's next? Ooh, milk. You have to have the milk. If you don't have the milk, then you can't stop the fire. What? 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 Are you gonna puke? Do you need to go outside? No, I just want your burritos. <laughs> Make sure to put the milk back, because if you don't put the milk back, it gets warm. And warm milk is not good, and warm milk eventually stinks. Really, really bad. Uh, let's see, make sure to grab a fork. And you can see in there that the cheese is melting very nicely. I'm actually gonna put in, I typically I put it in for two additional minutes, not a minute and a half, so. I'm gonna put it in for just a little while longer. We have our Taco Bell packet, we have our fork, we have our, our this. Go and get the computer all, all ready. Ha ha! And uh, we are gonna be on season seven, episode seven. Guys knew it was coming to that, didn't you? That's scary. I saw that today too. I was going to vlog that. That there's 111 days left. Yeah, out of 366 this year, so 255 days have passed already. Oh my gosh! Look at that golden yumminess. Oh my goodness. Okay. So then we take this, and then we go in there and we watch an episode. That's what I'm doing now. It's called relaxing. I usually don't do too much of it. Although I have been doing a lot of TV watching lately. After I'm done with TV watching, after I'm caught up on Supernatural, Troy is going to start a rigorous workout program to shed some pounds because I need to. Cool breeze, burritos, dog who was laying down until I started talking to you guys on the camera. Uh, got my cell phone there and the headphones all ready to go. And here we go, and the milk's over there. So we're all set. Let's do this. And just like that, it's way early in the morning, and so, ah, that's how that goes. Buffy's like, what? You're up? <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, you're so sweet. You're a sweetheart. All right. I'm going to office. I don't think you know that word. Office? Want to edit? Do you want to edit? Let's go. Here, grab your pink snake. Come here. Bed. Here, move. Get on your bed. On your bed. On your bed. Good girl. Here, there's your pink snake. <laughs> ghouls and boils, boils and ghouls, hellions of all, all of you. Um, it is time for COC. However, for whatever reason, uh, neither computer is allowing me to sort the comments in chronological order. So I have no idea who is first. So these are just kind of, you know, the way that YouTube goes through and I don't know how they sort their comments, but you know, uh, whatever. So we're just gonna go through them. Jamie Shea, looks like they added dirt to the grave. Probably the ground was sinking, so needed to fill it in. Oh, perfect explanation. Perfect, I think that's probably what they did. Cap Zone 2, uh, no Buffy today. Do you take Buffy on some of your drives around town? Uh, I used to when I first got her and she's so hairy that sometimes I just don't take her with me that much anymore. And then also if I'm going on an appointment or mobile service or whatever, then I don't bring her with me to a customer's house. She's much happier and content in the backyard. Jason McDougal, Troy, random question. Do you ever get hangry? Haha, <laughs> like angry from not eating. No, I don't. I, no, I don't, no, not at all, actually. If I don't eat, then I don't eat. I'm just hungry, but I don't, it doesn't affect my mood. Mateo Luna, I'm liking these vlogs, man. Awesome. Thank you for watching. Spooky Norris, uh, sweet peas are poisonous, especially the flowers and seeds. Do not snack on them. 
Good to know. Thank you. Andrew's videos. I might work at Spirit Halloween this year. Awesome. Make sure you don't film anything. I've known people that have worked for Spirit that have tried to film some stuff and they got promptly terminated. So don't do that. I, I'm not saying that you would. I'm just giving you a heads up. Right, it started B. No acting. I want to see some karaoke and some cowboy hat boots and singing your heart out, bro. Um, well, due to copyright, I probably ain't going to be doing that. But, but when I go to Eastern Washington, when I take these trips, it, it's so interesting because once I hit the road, cowboy hat goes on. I don't know why. It's just it. I'm comfortable wearing it on the road and in the mountains. Weird, but not in the city. I don't know, it's, it's, it's strange. Tony Fredrickson, so does this filming project involve the other Troy and Jim just maybe because you have awesome buddies? It may, it may not. I don't know, you're gonna have to find out. Drop Dead, Barry. Troy, as you know, I own a recycling company and yes, it is sad, the stuff going in the container is going into the landfill. Ugh. Oh. God, that just sucks. Oh my gosh, that sucks so bad. But they won't let you take it either, which is very strange because I've asked them. It's like, well, you know, can I can I grab something from it if you guys are just going to throw it away? And they say, well, it actually belongs to Goodwill. And I'm like, what? No, that's that's ludicrous. Oh, Adam S., don't cancel Halloween Home Mouth, please. I love watching your vlogs. It's my daily routine of my day, which would make it the daily part of your daily routine. Um, that's awesome. Thank you very much. Jolson, you summoned a, a succubus, not a demon. Geez, Troy, get your haunt terms correct. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. And this isn't the final comment of the night, but I want to make it the final comment of the night. Um, because we don't know which order they're in, that's why. But it is the last comment of the night. The Energize. Wow, I'm impressed that you're interested in acting. Okay, let's see how good you really are then. My daughter takes acting classes and they were given a list of monologues to learn, so I've picked this one out for you. Do your best. Oh man, I had totally wanted to memorize this and deliver it, but I don't have time to memorize it, so we can do it like this. Alright, you guys ready? I need to look at the screen. That's the only thing. The eye contact thing, you know. You need to look at the screen, but... Uh, you say this is from The Talented Mr. Ripley, written by Anthony Manghella from the novel by Patricia Highsmith. And I will tell you guys that I have never seen this before in my life, so now we'll see how it whoops, we'll see how it goes. Whatever you do, however terrible, however hurtful, it all makes sense, doesn't it? Inside your head. You, you never meet anybody who thinks they're a bad person or that they're cruel. Um, don't you put the past in a room, in the cellar, and you lock the door and just never go in there. Because that's what I do. And then you meet somebody special. And all you want to do is toss them a key and say, open up, step inside. But you can't. You can't because it's dark and there are demons. And if anybody saw how ugly it was, <laughs> man. Oh, I keep wanting to do that. Fling open the door, let the light in, clean everything out. If I could, get a huge eraser and just rub everything out. Beginning with myself. All right. I was starting with myself, so I screwed up the line. But anyway, I don't know. That was kind of fun. That, that was kind of fun, so thank you for that. That was really cool. All right, guys. Happy haunting. See you tomorrow. Whatever happens tomorrow, happens tomorrow. Take care. I stole that from Terror Clowns. Jared, I don't think that he watches, but, you know, I, you, know you, you never can tell. You never know. You never know. And I'll steal this one, too. Well, actually, I used to do this all the time, but because somebody else does it, I don't do it all the time now because I don't want to be like other people. But I will say, all right, guys, see you tomorrow. Um, but while you're awake, yeah, we're y'all well. Um, but while you're awake.